good morning. It's the uh, 19th of October, I think, right now. And this project is taking a little longer than I think. Uh, this is for the heating of the greenhouse. And this part right here, what I want to show you is I'm expecting delivery of uh, 10 solar panels today. And they're 290 watts apiece, so basically 200 and 2,900 watts of solar panel power I'm expecting. And what that's going to be used for is to heat the water tanks that are going to be used for heat storage in the uh, wintertime here for my greenhouse. Now, I just want to show you before we start mounting the solar panels how I, how I built this and the strategy I used. It's really quite simple. Now this is all scrap wood that I had around here, believe it or not. I didn't have to go down to the lumber store and buy anything. But let me show you a little bit of close-ups of what I've done and why I've done it. Alright, I hope you can see this. But you can see the, the poles here that I've got are driven into the ground. Well, I've got a post hole digger and I've dug holes there. and They're about two feet down. They're not really that deep, but two feet. And then what I've got here for the solar panels are going to be mounted on this. And I'm going to have to cut this off, the top of the uh, post here, right about here to be flush. So this will provide a nice mounting surface for the solar panels. Now, of course, the reason for these is to brace these so that they don't move. And, uh, you know, uh, the wind, that direction is south. And so generally when we get high winds and so forth, they generally come from the south. So I'm going to brace the back end, and you don't see that yet, but let me just uh, kind of show you something here to give you an idea. See, what I'm going to do is, is bury a pole back here and then fasten it onto this so that it braces this from, you know, moving this way. Okay? Put that down. Now, the reason this is slanted like this, like I said, the, the uh, sun is in the south here where we live in the winter time and it's just about vertical in the summertime it's almost 90 degrees not quite but close and anyway, it goes all the way down to 23 I think 23 and a half degrees at the uh, maximum in the winter time now these are set at 45 degrees so that kind of gives you a a little bit of uh, you know in between kind of uh, number here for the solar panels the other reason they're set that way is because uh, you need a slope here because we do get snow here and you know sometimes we get a lot of snow sometimes we don't get a lot but what happens is if you have enough of a slope here if after a big snowstorm uh, or the next day or so the first time you get any sun at all generally the uh, solar panels the snow will slide off and the reason these are up above the ground instead of right on the ground is because as the snow slides off it'll pile up on the bottom I've learned that in another application and if it piles up high enough uh, then you've got problems with the snow sliding off it's got nowhere to slide to so anyway that's why it's built the way it is and uh, I'm also going to put some boards across here let me show you using this as an example so, so it's going to be across here like this, and, and fastened down all the way across. And this is actually where the solar panels are going to be mounted on this board here and another one up there like that. So, we're going to wait for the truck to arrive. And they promised me in about two hours or so it ought to be here. So I've got to go down to the street and uh, pick them up today. But that is how we're building the uh, stands for the solar panels. Well it turned out the solar panels didn't arrive for two more days which actually was rather fortunate for me because I didn't have the stands completely finished yet so that gave me a little more time to finish building the stands and when they did arrive I was ready for them. Well, okay, I've got one of the uh, stands all built, ready to mount the uh, solar panels to. And as you can see, I've uh, braced, uh, braced them with these side braces and the vertical posts and the top here where the, uh, where the solar panels are going to go. Those are braced with these, so this is pretty darn solid. Now, 
as I mentioned before, this is all made out of uh, reclaimed wood. Let me go over here. Now, after I mount the solar panels, I'm going to have to, of course, trim some of these down. But you can see that wood is, it's all uh, reclaimed. And I know some of you might worry about that. And I'm not going to paint it. But uh, let me show you something here that's for construction techniques. Now, I live in, in an area where in the summertime and it gets a little dry but we get a lot of snow so the ground gets good and soggy wet and I know that um, if you put a post in the ground and it's not a treated post uh, you know it will rot in a matter of two three four years there'll be nothing but rot there in the ground and I think that's pretty well true anywhere you go so if you use uh, treated uh, and this is pressure treated lumber I assume it's pine, but you use pressure-treated lumber for anything that's going to touch the ground or be in contact with the ground and could possibly stay wet for a little while, which the ground can do. The regular pine works great for anything above the ground that, yeah, it can get wet, but it'll dry out. So anything that's able to dry out quickly once the sun comes back and so forth, it'll stand the weather pretty good. And as you can see, the, the coloring here is quite faded. That's what I think they call the uh, desert tan or desert varnish or something like that. You see it on old pioneer homes and stuff like that. But let me show you something here just, just to kind of prove this to you. Now over here, you see the little yellow slippery slide, I think. And uh, this is an old swing set that I built for my kids. It hasn't been used in a very long time. And it's actually been standing here for a little over 25 years. Now this piece of wood here was reclaimed when I, when I uh, put it together. And as you can see, uh, everything in contact with the ground is pressure treated. But everything above ground, uh, not necessarily. As you can see, yeah, it's it's got the desert tan on it, and this has got some of the old varnish that was still on it when I took it apart. But if you look here, it hasn't uh, what's above ground hasn't really rotted at all. At all. It has merely uh, weathered, I guess you could say. And if you take a saw and you cut that, it still it still looks new on the inside. Now, if you look at this, here's some real good example. See, these are these are pine boards. Now they're they're bolted into the poles here that are pressure treated poles. But you can see they've been here for 25 years in the weather, and uh, nothing's happened to them. Now this little platform up here, you know, was for the kids like a little fort to go up there, and all I did was use the screws to hold that. But as you can see it is still in pretty good condition because the lumber that I used originally was pretty good quality lumber but it was just regular pine so and here's the ladder to get up here and uh, you can see that <laughs> that's still holding up pretty good now the point of all this is that uh, I guess my experience and what I've heard but this experience kind of proves it to me that as long as you have uh, you don't need to do anything with your wood if you want to have it out in the weather as long as it is able to dry out after it gets wet after a storm or after a snow or after a winter or something like that if it can dry out right away it doesn't really rot and uh, so I'm not going to worry about you know, doing anything to preserve the wood here I expect these to be here for a long long time but uh, I'm just going to, you know, put the uh, posts in the ground you, out of uh, pressure-treated lumber. Anything in con direct contact with the ground is going to be pressure-treated lumber. And uh, anything that is not, it's just scrap lumber that I have around. And even if it does look like it's old now, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs>